Okay, so I'm trying to summarize the topic on cell structure. I know we tend to have lots of problems with it. So I'll start by just writing a few words on the side and then we're going to draw the structure of the cell here. After that, we're going to assign the words to some structures within the cell. So let's just write a few words. Some of these you know already from GCSE. Others may be a bit new, but these are the words you need to know. These are the labels you need to know so far as cell structure is concerned. So we have the nucleus. We have the cytoplasm. We have the centriole. We have the endoplasmic reticulum. Note the spelling. We have the so that 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 we have the cytoskeleton. We have the Golgi body. And we also have the mitochondria. Chloroplasts. I'll put a star against that to show that they're in plants. Cell wall. And the plasma membrane. Remember, take notes, we don't say cell membrane, we say plasma membrane or cell surface membrane. Okay? And those are then the main organelles that we may have to get used to. Maybe we add the lysosome as well. Okay. Right. Also, I may add other structures that are within other same structures. So we can talk about the nucleolus. Once again, take note of the spelling and how that is different from the spelling of the nucleus. Right. Then I'm going to draw my cell. I'm going to draw an, uh, an animal cell, so these two structures will not be involved in here. The shape can be any way, anything, so be quite flexible with that. Now the largest organelle in there would be the nucleus. Now take note of how I draw the nucleus with a double line, which shows that it has an envelope. An envelope is simply a structure that is made up of two membranes. Within the membrane, you have DNA, which is quite broken down in the form of chromatin. And within that structure, we have a delta structure which we'll refer to as the nucleus. So straight away we can actually start doing some labeling. So that would be the nucleus. Let's do that. We'll do, let's do that much later actually. So that would be the nucleus and the nucleus and the nuclear envelope with nuclear pores in there. We can also show the endoplasmic reticulum. Now these fold, these are folded membranes called cysteine, which sort of break away from the or are continuous with the nuclear envelope. On this structure, which I'll call the rough endoplasmic reticulum, you would have the ribosomes, which is another organelle which I should have included in our list. And these ribosomes are located on the structure 
of the on the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum. All right. We could also come across a similar structure. So let's make that continuous with that. However, this one would have no ribosomes attached, and that would be the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Now let's try and compare that to the Golgi body. The Golgi bodies look very similar to the endoplasmic reticulum. However, at the ends you see a sort of bulbous end which is like vesicles pinching off. And that tells you that is the endoplasmic reticulum, not the Golgi body, sorry. Another structure very important, the mitochondria, sausage shaped, with folded membranes in here. Take notes, you may also see the mitochondria looking like that, roundish, except this time you have that, just simply the way it's been cut. If you like cut this way or cut that way, same thing, mitochondria. Right? Next thing, let's look at the plasma membrane, obviously, that is the cell surface membrane. Now let's add centrioles. Centrioles are structures that are involved in mitosis, and that is a structure always there's a pair like that at right angles to each other. We can then add maybe lysosomes. Lysosomes are vesicles that contain special digestive enzymes used to break down worn out organelles as well as used in breaking down of digesting pathogens that may invade the cell. So overall, these are the main structures except one which I would call the cytoskeleton. Now, cyto means cell. So, cytoskeleton would simply be a loose term that actually refers to the skeleton of the cell, literally. Simply, what maintains the integrity and structure of the cell. So, all these vesicles and organelles and so on are attached to this cytoskeleton. And would we'll talk about all these in much more detail later. So that will be our sample of a cell. Now let's do some labeling. So let's call this A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So I'll call this J, which is the nucleus. I'll refer to the entire structure here as my nucleus, that would be A. I'll refer to this as my lysosome, which is I. That, and this will be F, my Golgi bodies. Smooth ER and the plasmic reticulum, let's call it D1 and D2. D1 being smooth and D2 being rough. It's quite easy to tell that this will be D2 and that will be D1. Next, you have the centrioles, which would be C. Next would be our mitochondria. As I said, both of these refer to mitochondria, so this will be G. Plus a membrane, that would be H. And 
the cytoskeleton any structure in here we do all these um, lines with the, our E have we covered everything we've got cytoplasm which is obviously B and um, that should be it that's all you need to know for cell structure so far as the ultra structure of the cell is concerned the next in the next session we can now take each of these organelles and try to explain how each part actually works or the function of each part so far as the function of the cell is concerned thank you